Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to track the iFlight Zing 2 2604 motor. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its specs, bench test the two available KV versions of this motor using 5, 6 and 7 inch propellers, show you some flight footage and give you my feedback after testing it out. First of all, the Zing 2 2604 motor is available in two KV options, 1350 and 1650 KV. Both versions are compatible with up to 6S batteries when pushing 5 inch propellers and according to my bench test, in case you would like to use 6 and 7 inch propellers, you should stick to 4S batteries on the 1650KV version and the 1350KV version is compatible with up to 6S batteries when pushing 6 inch propellers and up to 5S batteries when pushing 7 inch propellers. In terms of specs, this motor features a 16 by 16 mm mounting pattern. It weighs 34.7 grams, including the full length of the 15 cm long 18 gauge silicone coated wires. The motor shaft is secured using a hex screw. Inside the motor bell, there are 14 magnets. The motor shaft is hollow. On the top side of the motor bell, there is a grip pattern for better securing the propellers. Inside, on the top of the motor shaft, you can find a rubber o-ring that is going to help to reduce vibrations. The diameter of the stator is 26 mm and its height is 4.5 mm. Here you can see the 2604 motor next to a 2207.5 motor and even though the 2604 motor might look bigger, it's actually about 20% smaller in terms of volume and also lighter than the 2207.5 motor. Now after this quick introduction, the next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the 1350 KV version of these motors using this 5 inch build. Overall, after testing them out, and as confirmed by the thrust test, I can tell you that these motors are going to be perfect for a cinematic or a long range setup, as in comparison to traditional narrower and taller motors, they will provide you with more torque in mid lower throttle range and they are also very efficient. Using this 5 inch build, which weighs about 424 grams, including a GoPro Session 5 camera, I got about 7 minutes of flight time using a 1250 mAh 6S like a battery, which is pretty good. And in case you would like to extend your flight time, I would recommend to use these motors on a lightweight 7 inch setup. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, and now I'm going to show the thrust test, which as always, its results are included down below, and then show you some flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.